Hi, welcome all. Welcome to our channel Microbiology Made Easy. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the Microbiology Practical Examination for Second MBBS Students according to new regulation that is CBME regulation. So what will be the procedure? I will explain you in this video. So here the pattern will be for every university. It will be like this. The practical will be 80. The viva will be 20. That is 100 marks. So here it is a format is there. So it will be like this. First, we have spotters that is 10 marks, then gram stain 10 marks, Jaden stain 10 marks, stool examination that is 10 marks, case scenarios. One case scenario that is from bacterial or virology, the second case study that is from parasitology or mycology. So you will get two case scenarios. So that is 15 plus 15 that is 30 marks. Object to structured practical examination that is OSPI 5 marks, uh, attitude and ethics communication that is ADCOM. That is five marks. So viva will be that is two internals. Each one have five marks. That is five plus five, ten marks. So viva two. That is uh, external examiners. Uh, two external examiners will be there. So one have five marks. The second one is have five marks. That is ten marks. So total will be the hundred marks. So in detail, I will give you that. The spotters 10 marks that is the distribution will be general microbiology 2 marks, immunology 1 mark, bacteriology 2 marks, uh, virology 1 mark, parasitology will be 2 marks. So mycology 2 marks. So this is the pattern. So they have to select uh, according to this and they have to give the spotters. The total will be the 10 marks. The second exercise will be the gram stain so you have to perform the gram stain observe and you have to write the inference and draw the diagram this is gram stain 10 marks the next third one is the jaden staining or a b staining so you have to do the jaden staining and write observation and inference that is a 10 marks jaden staining the next is stool examination so they will focus the stool and you have to observe and draw the diagram and label it that is also 10 marks stool examination the next case scenarios so in this they may ask any one from bacterial or virology you have to write any from bacterial or virology the second is the parasitology or mycology so in this exercise they should associate it with the clinical history so history should be with the relevant test which help the students to arrive at diagnosis you have to diagnose that according to the clinical history and should be designed evaluated such a way that the student will be able to discuss about the sample collection interpretation of the result and management of the cases so they will keep according to that case they will keep that relevant history and diagnosis you have to write that so this is about the case scenario two case scenarios will be there that is 15 plus 15 that is 30 marks the next is osp that is objective structured practical examination that is five marks so in this they will ask anyone that is hand hygiene and its uh, selection so donning and doffing of pp for a given three different situations how will you perform how will you do the next segregation of biomedical waste as per biomedical waste 2016 regulations the next so it will be like this objective structured practical examination so they will ask like this how do will you collect the throat swab and nasopharynges swab in simulated situations so collection of peripheral venous blood for culture in simulated situations so collection of wound swab and pus sample in simulated situations so instruct a sample collection procedure of that that is sputum, sputum collection urine stool for culture so skin scrapings hair clippings nail samples so collection procedure so how will you collect how will you do the donning and doffing so these will be included in objective structured practical examination so it will carry five marks so how will you do the donning and doffing how will you collect so they will ask like this this is the osphy this is a new uh, thing they have entered this that is ospi the next is atcom is there that is attitude ethics and communication so how will you communicate with the patient so that is the attitude ethics and communication so demonstrating respect to patient sample that is ospi next advise the um healthcare workers with needle stick injuries in complete and correct sequence in a simulated setting so how will you give the uh, information so how will you collect the st uh, sample from the patient the next you have to give the healthcare workers 
to avoid needle stick injuries how will you explain how will you do that so that will be the atcom so instruct a ward by how to manage bio uh, spill in a simulated setting so how will you uh, instruct the ward by if there is a spillage in the ward area so you have to uh, give the uh, instruction so it will be the attitude ethics and communication so next is viva that is first internal examination five marks the next second internal will be the five marks so first and second internal will be there so two internal will be there that is five five plus five ten marks the next second internal will be there the next second internal will be five five two internals and two external examinations first internal first external second internal second external will be there so you can give like this so two internals under two externals so total 10 marks so thank you uh, please do subscribe my channel microbiology made easy so next i will give you the details of the remaining practicals and remaining things thank you very much